The next recipe is inspired by the food I had growing up in the 80s and 90s. Yes, I know I'm so much older than you guys are. Well, all we had in those days was MPs, Shazan, The Village and Kafri Khan. And I remember eating this chicken which had capsicum, onions, tomatoes and a lot of sauce. It had a lot of ketchup in it. But it was so delicious and they always, almost always served it with fried rice. I'm going to make that and if you're from Karachi and if you're as old as me, then you know what I'm talking about. So here it goes. I have all the ingredients here including 8 day old rice and here's a quick view, let's get started. 300 grams of cubed boneless chicken, half a teaspoon each of corn flour sugar salt and a quarter teaspoon of white pepper. Add a teaspoon and a half of water and mix this well. Saute this, this is going to cause a splash. Chicken cooks very fast for 2 to 3 minutes and remove from this wok. I had cooked this on high fire and I blew the fire now, it's not pink in the center anymore. And in this I'm going to add half a teaspoon each of chopped ginger and garlic, saute, add a few dried red chilies, a teaspoon of sesame seeds. The white part of two spring onions. I'm going to add one and a half sliced carrot. Mix this well. Now add the chicken back in. Mix this well. A pinch of turmeric powder and a quarter teaspoon of cumin powder. Next up, green chili sliced preferably. The chicken is ready. I'm going to add the sauces. Three tablespoons of ketchup. Two to three tablespoons of soy sauce. A little lemon juice or vinegar, that's up to you. Coat the chicken well with the sauces. Adding one and a half cubed tomatoes and one cubed onion. Half a capsicum cubed. And here I'm going to use two to three teaspoons of Greek yogurt. I'm mixing this on medium high flame. I don't want the tomatoes to dissolve, I want them to remain like this. This is corn flour slurry. Half a cup of water with one teaspoon corn flour. I'm going to mix it and add it so I can create some gravy. And time to check this out. If you need to add anything, add it now. I felt it had less soy sauce. And I'm going to add half a teaspoon of sugar. This is ready. I've just added coriander, mint and basil. And let's prepare the rice, adding some regular vegetable oil and about a teaspoon of sesame oil in this wok. Here we go. Garlic. Adding all these vegetables, that's a quarter cup each of capsicum, carrot and cabbage. Sauteing it and pushing it to a side, taking two eggs and adding that to the mix. Scramble it right here. Mix that up. I'm just adding a wee bit of soy sauce and white pepper. This is a day old rice, which is the best rice to use for a fried rice. Now this is a leftover chili oil that I got from Chinese takeout recently. Every time I call for Chinese food, I get this beautiful chili oil. I don't throw it and add that to the mix. And just look at the little color it adds to the rice. Isn't that great? Don't throw out your stuff, guys. You can always use it again for something else. Okay, this is nearly ready. Check and add salt if you need to right now. And then you know the drill, coriander, basil. If you have spring onions, go for that. I have made the items and now I am serving the chicken along with the rice. So for the rice to look like this, all you need to really do is uh, fill up a little bowl and stuff the rice and flip it upside down. There you go, you can see the chili too. Now isn't this a pretty plate? I have the chili oil and I'm just going to take a little bit and um, just dress this up. And what do you guys think of my plate? I'm so glad I made this today. It's actually tasting really good. The chicken is soft and the sauce is uh, ketchup-y. Uh, and it could be like a little baby sister of a chicken jalfrezi into a chicken shashlik. And maybe I can call this my authentic recipe from Karachi. So yeah, I'm glad I made this and I'm glad I shared it with you. And I need your feedback. I really want you to make this. It will take you back years. Nostalgia. Thank you for watching.